Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the NECA Aliens Queen. So that box is freaking huge, and I'm going to try to get Zombie Cat in on this review. She's not here right now, because I want to open it up, and that's why I'm doing it in the beginning. But uh, this was sort of a present from her, because she'll explain it, but uh, she bought me a present that she was happy about, but it didn't turn out very well. <laughs> so, went and exchanged it and got this instead. And, uh, it's really awesome. I haven't opened it yet, but so far it looks pretty awesome. I mean, I had the, I have, I still have the McFarlane Alien Queen, which is, I really like that one. And I wasn't planning on getting this one just because I already had that one. Until I seen how much bigger and more detailed this one is. Oh, and also when I seen it in person, I'm like, holy crap. That is an improvement. That's worth getting. Yeah, this is interesting box design. I got this big opening there. Then from the front, you can see its face here, peeking through. And it's hard to get on screen. And uh, also on top, you can see in a little bit. Then you can see all the eggs and everything, which don't come with it. And then there's like people slime to the wall. Remember the uh, McFarlane Lady Alien Queen actually came with uh, someone gooped to the wall. So there's the back. It says this is to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Alien franchise. So that's a pretty cool thing to come out for the anniversary. And then I can't believe how big this thing is because the original McFarlane was huge, but this is even bigger. So I gotta open this up now. So here you can see what it looks like when you first pull it out in the plastic. See some of the pieces are over here. You know, like the inner mouths are up there. Got some, uh, this part of the stand down here it looks like. You can see her tail is like bent back and wrapped in there. Wrapped down to the bottom. And on the back, it's more of the stand. I just want to show you the inside of the box real quick because it's all, like the whole background looks like a, like an alien hive or something like that. And uh, even the floor looks like, oh, that's kind of hard to see. The floor looks like the, uh, damn it. <laughs> this is hard. Okay. The floor looks like um, the floor on a, in the second Aliens movie. All them grates that the aliens pop up out of and grab you. So that's pretty cool box design. Well, I didn't even show you that one. There's Looks like Hicks going up against the Alien Queen. This didn't even happen in the movie. Hicks was out, knocked out or something when, that, when the Alien Queen showed up and Ripley had to fight her. Okay, so it's all opened up and put together and now Zombie Cat's here for the rest of it. Hi! So I guess I'll just have her explain real quick about the whole present. Uh. <laughs> or I can explain it however. Um, well... I never get to surprise him. Every time I come up with a good idea for a present, he either figures out what I'm getting him, or he's already bought it for himself before I can get him one. And this time, I came up with an awesome idea, and he never figured it out, and he didn't buy himself one. I was all proud of myself, and he's all excited. I bought him a Vex Robotics, which is like the Hexbug people. Um, one of the big robots that you put together yourself. And it was the scarab one. And he spent like two hours putting the fucking thing together. And first of all, it was missing pieces, which I mean, they weren't like connectors or anything. They were just a piece that like held it together, but it was so irritating. And he finally got it to work and it was a piece of crap. Well, it, uh, yeah, this is like almost a review of this Hexbug, but it was just like, um, you would press the button to go and it would like not, it would start to walk, like it'd take it a few seconds, like it wasn't responsive, very responsive, it's like it'd take a few seconds and finally start walking. Then it would stop every few seconds, like it twitched as it walked, like every once in a while it would go smooth for a few seconds and then it would just start twitching and stopping. And, and even then, when it was going smoothly it was slower than how. Yeah it was. And also it had a different mode where you can set it to be auto and it would just run around by itself and do things. That did not work at all. Just one side of the legs would move, just spinning it in a circle, 
until it ran into something, which it wasn't supposed to run into something because of its sensors, but yeah, it was just not worth the $70 at all. And I was extra disappointed because I finally bought him something that was actually a surprise and we were both excited about it and then it sucked. <laughs> I was mad. But then I went up to the store the other day and that was after Christmas and I seen, that's when I seen this 8 and Queen in person the first time and I'm like, ah! <laughs> like I already knew it was bigger than the one I had but just seeing it in person it's like, that is really nice. <laughs> so then, let's tell her early. Maybe it should So get. once again, he just got to buy what he wanted for himself, basically. Well, you still got me the one thing, <sighs> and I still like it. The yeah, the Pacific kaiju. Cream. Yeah. But, okay. That was a... Sorry about the long beginning story. But I had to tell it. Um, so this is still really cool. This is Zombie Cat's present to me that I bought myself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually more... I tried! <laughs> It's ended up being actually a bit more expensive than that. And but it's okay because you had to spend more money to make up for your disappointment on Christmas. <laughs> it was a good idea. I did want that. I did want the hex bug. I just I know. I didn't expect it to be shitty because their other ones are pretty cool. Okay. So after opening up and putting this together, like there's so much improvement on this one over the McFarlane one. And I'll compare it to the McFarlane one, which is covered in dust. <laughs> I might need to get some of the dust off of it, but yeah, this one has this open, its mouth opens and closes. I guess I get closer for that. The McFarlane one's mouth is just stuck shut like that, but it opens and closes, and then the little, uh, this is like just clear plastic here, but it just looks like it's slamming open, like just the way they did it. And then you can see the little inner mouth is in there, and there's two different ones. There's a little teeny tiny one for when her, she don't want it sticking out. And then there's the big long one. Like she's sticking it out and biting into somebody's face or something. And they stick it in a little hole in the back there. And it's a little difficult to get them in there because you got to kind of hold on to the teeth of the shove that in there. and It's kind of hard to do. I'll try to do it. Okay, there it's in there now. And I like how this head moves around to inside of the bigger part of the head. I think the McFarlane one did that a little bit. But this one seems to have more movement. And there's lots of articulation too. The hands are really cool. Yeah, they even did a better job on that. <coughs> and overall this just looks more like it did on screen too. It's hard to see in the movie because it's so dark. But I just remembered one thing that bugged me about the McFarlane one is it was kind of bulky, like muscular looking almost. And in the movie it looked more like a bug. Like a giant bug it looked. Like, like a praying mantis. Yeah, it was like really... Thin, I don't know how to say it, like all of its parts were just long skinny limbs. It's svelte. McFarlane ones just look like they try to make it look muscular. And these things here on McFarlane's didn't look right at all. <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> there wasn't much articulation, like none of these joints that are here on the legs. There's a joint here, a joint there, a joint there, there. None of them moved on the McFarlane ones. The McFarlane one just moved up here at the hips. That was it. And the same with the arms. I think there was just at the shoulders. But this one's got one here at the elbow. And then there's one at the wrist. And... Isn't there two at the wrist? Is there two? There might be two. I don't know. And there's multiple at the head, too. There's... The head moves here. And then it moves here. So, that's pretty cool. And there's also joints on these little tiny T-Rex arms. There's one up here, which is where it connects, and then there's one here at like the elbow, and then there's one here at the wrist. So there's lots of lots more articulation in this than the McFarlane version. That's just crazy because I that was one of my favorite figures was the McFarlane one. But this one just blows it away. Yeah, this one's way better. Like I originally wasn't planning on getting this because I thought it was just maybe slightly better. But no, it's way, way, way better. The tail part is is about the same, because the McFarland tail was bendy just like this one. And I think this one might be slightly longer, but it's not a whole lot different. The only thing that bugs me a little bit about the tail is... I don't know if you can see it. Wait a the tail is like a light blue, and then it connects to the body, it's almost black. So there's like two very different colors 
where the tail connects to the body. So here's the McFarlane one. It's on the cat side, I better show it because uh, I keep talking, talking about, about it. talking about it so much. <laughs> yeah. But I'll try to get back far enough. So you can see the McFarlane one is a little bit smaller and a lot less detailed. It still has a lot of detail on it, just not as much as the NECA version. You can see like these things just are kind of half-assed, these little things sticking out of the back. But over here they're much more detailed and they actually move around. The neck, the neck's pretty cool on this one because it's all rubbery. But this one's got way more detail and paint and stuff in there. This gold like kind of confused me. Like I didn't, I never noticed in the movie the gold. And it's not, there's no gold on this one at all. No, well, it's pretty much just like dark gray. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's not really any color to it. No, there's not. <laughs> but as you can see, like it just looks like the legs and everything are just meant to be look look muscular or something. I don't know. It just didn't look as bug-like as it did in the movies for the McFarlane version. As you can see, it is really dusty. I kept it inside of a cabinet, a glass cabinet, and it's still got super dusty. It also doesn't stand up very well. It comes with this base. The base is actually warped. Oh, yeah. From being, It's probably from it pulling on it. Mm. It's supposed to connect to another piece that has like a body in it, who's like attached to the wall. It's like a female attached to the wall and a chest booster pops out, which is really cool. But still is kind of limited in what you can do with it. You can see like these joints here do not move. There's nothing there. Nothing down here. It just moves at the hips. And the same with the arms. The arms can spin at the wrist and move at, up here to the elbow. Or, I mean the shoulder. That's it. These can actually move a little bit. Up there where it connects and at the wrist but not the elbow. But like I said, the mouth doesn't do anything. It's stuck closed. And really, can you move it? You can move it slightly, hardly at all. But this one has a lot more range. Yeah. So I want to show the top of the head because the next ones were like way bigger and way more detailed, and like everything's better about the NECA version. With the head. This is really difficult to do. I really need like a big table or something. Top of the head really you can tell the difference but as they're standing here like next to each other it doesn't I would say it probably looks like the neck one's just a little bigger but the thing that really makes it look bigger is when you actually stand her up which the McFarlane one can't do this. It's like well my mouth fell out. And when you make it stand up like that, then it just looks really giant. I still have my old Kenner Alien Queen from a long time ago. And it doesn't look too good. Obviously it's not going to be this big, but I mean... What, did, what were they thinking? Did they even try to make it look right? They gave it all the arms, a bunch of arms, but... Actually, I think they have too many arms. And they made her stand straight up like a person, and tails coming out of the middle of the back. It just, and it's barely even bigger than the other aliens, so I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they made this. The only cool part is this little thing. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. But other than that, it's just not very good. This also comes with two different display rod thingy images. This one, one's for when she's like down like the McFarlane one. The other one's for she's standing up more like this. And it's got these little round thingies on the end. Which fit into holes on her chest. And I didn't even realize they, that's what they were. They almost just look like they're supposed to be there. It's like little tiny indentations. And that's where the... This pops in at. Although I think her legs need to stretch out a little bit because she's hanging off the floor. There. So I think that really makes it look... You can see the size difference. Another way you can see the size difference easy is this, this part of the leg is just way bigger on that one. Mm -hmm. I also like the... Uh, 
the teeth and everything that you can see through because how they are in a the movie. McFarlane's is like that too. But it looks much cooler when they're not just a big solid one piece thing. They're all separate little teeth. Yeah, the teeth look really nice. Yeah, I'm really impressed with them. It's the same on the little inner mouth too. So I think this is probably NECA's largest 7 inch scale figure because I can't think of what would be bigger for 7 inch because they have 4 scale figures but that's 4 scale there's the uh, spider gremlin but I don't even know what scale you'd say that is because they're I won't consider them 7 inch because they uh, they're made bigger than what they should be look at that neck I need a quieter tripod. I would, okay. I would say that the new one looks a little bit more guidery. <laughs> yeah, it really does, now that you say that. One of the things I always liked in the movies is that the alien almost looks like it's a robot. You know what I mean? Because it has that Geiger influence. Mm -hmm. And with the, the McFarlane one, it just looks like an animal. Like, not really like a bug, just like a weird animal. Yeah, I know what you mean. And the new one looks more like a bug and like almost like it's half robot. And that's exactly the way the aliens are in the movies. Mm-hmm. Because they got the exoskeleton. And then there's like all these tubes that look like robot tubes. So and they're finally going to have a Ripley figure soon. I got the... What's his name? Um, Bishop. I remember NECA said something, or showed a picture, I don't know if they had an actual picture of the figure they were going to make, but they're supposed to make the power loader eventually. Assuming they're still going to do that. That would be really cool. <laughs> that's the main thing that fights this alien queen, is the power loader. Zombie Cat just pointed out the underside of the head, which I've never noticed yet. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. It looks like the inside of like a rib cage or something. Mm -hmm. and this one's just... Freaking awesome! Yeah, but I seen the preview pictures. I wasn't liking the gold, but in person I like it a lot. They really. Yeah, adds if you to would it. have told me what color it was before I saw it, I would have been like, "It's what? Ew!" But in person, it looks really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like maybe it is. I don't know if you can tell in the movie because it's so dark in the movie when you see this. I don't. There might actually be gold there, and it's just hard to see because of the color and darkness. I might touch this up, just like right up here, make this blend a little more eventually. So, this is one of NECA's best toys, I would say. It's just insane. It's not how it goes on there, Doc. Whoa, I'm drunk and lazy! <laughs> Yeah, it shows you most of the articulation. I'll just move the arms around a little bit so you can see it moving a little more. These arms are tight. I didn't get them loosened up yet. But they do bend at the elbow. I just haven't got it loose. And also the legs. You can make her stand up even taller than what I had if you made these legs go out straight. So with her legs stretched out, you actually can use the display thing. That makes a really freaking doll. So there's a 7 inch Predator. So you can see, you probably wouldn't stand much of a chance unless his laser cannon worked. But you don't have one right now, so that ain't gonna help. And there's one of the regular little aliens. 7 inch Warrior Alien. So, <laughs> I just noticed that my two Clementines are on screen and their bunk beds up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing. But these big figures, as I zoom out and you can see all the other stuff going on that you're not supposed to see. <laughs> like the giant pile over there? Yeah, there's a giant Rick laying there. And <laughs> okay, so that was our review of the NECA Aliens Queen 35th anniversary figure. What's a squeen? Queen? At least they saying Queen. Sound like I saying Queen before. <laughs> Alien Queen! But. I think it is awesome. It's one of NECA's best figures. I still think I might like the the uh, Spider Gremlin a little more, just because it's got so many crazy colors going on. 
I still like the spider gremlin more. I think the only reason this one's I don't like as much is just because not because of Nega's fault, it's just that the Alien Queen's colors are pretty plain. <laughs> I mean there's basically dark grayish blue and black and gold and that's it. But the spider gremlin's all got all kinds of crazy designs all over it and it's just ridiculous. But still this is a really awesome 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 alien queen figure. And I'm glad that you have a present you like now instead of the shitty one I bought you. It's okay. You tried. And it was a good one. Shut up. It was a good try. Still sucked. <laughs> well, this is my dream of cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. And thanks for watching. Good back. Oh no! Lee! I mean, Ripley! Oh damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh!